Yo guys, Code Life here. So in today's video guys, I've got another Pro Player Updates video for all of you. Where in this one today, we're going to be checking out four different updates from four different pro players. That's right guys, we firstly got one from Metro. He's gone and bought himself a new custom mouse pad, which is actually very similar to the one that Mongrel got that I talked about in yesterday's video. Be sure to check that one out if you haven't already, link in the description. For the second update of the day, we've got one from Mr. Savage. For him, he got sent a brand new ultra fast keyboard from his sponsor for completely free, which is pretty cool considering how good this keyboard performs and looks. And then for the other two updates, we've got one from Scoped. He got sent two awesome looking controllers, that actually feature a new type of trigger system on them. And then for the fourth and final update, we've got one from Bugger. He went and changed his Fortnite sensitivity again to a new God sense. Those four updates right there, guys, are all the ones we've got to get through today, so it won't be a very long one at all. However, before we do get into today's video and check out all of those updates, I want to quickly say that I'd appreciate it greatly if you guys could drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and use code life in the Fortnite item shop. It really would help me out a ton, guys, and it really would be appreciated. And yeah, let's jump straight into today's Pro Player Updates video. Okay, guys, so for the very first update of today, we've got one from Bugger. For him, he decided to change his Fortnite sensitivity again on his brand new mouse. That's the Razer Viper Ultimate. However, the sensitivity he decided to choose, guys, was not a high one. As most of you know already if you watched my last Pro Player Updates video, in that one I mentioned that he did switch to a relatively high sense. That's 12.4 on the X and Y. However, guys, he has not gone any higher than that. He's actually went much lower. The reason for this is because, as you guys know, he has been playing on this mouse for a good few days now. And after playing around with the sensitivities, he's went up to 12.4. He's went down to 10%, which he actually did originally confirm as his god sensitivity. I switched in. I hit like 4-1 pumps so far. I think 10% is my god sense. Right, then don't change it. Right. Do keep in mind though that was a couple of days ago and since then he's decided that 9.7 on the X and Y is his new god sensitivity. He said that after playing on this and getting used to it he found that the 10% was a little bit too high but the 9.7% is literally perfect. And from that guys he's decided to stick on that. In regards to the other Fortnite sensitivities like the ADS and the scope those have stayed the same. His ADS is still on 30.4%, his scope sense is still on 39.4%, and his overall mouse DPI is still on 400. Next up, we've got Scope's new set of scuff controllers. For this update, guys, Scope got sent these two beauties on screen to replace his old controller which was the scuff impact in the color white. And well, guys, if we go back to looking at these two beauties on screen again, you can see that these look insane. You can see clearly that they are the same controller type, which is a scuff impact controller. However, the design on them has changed completely. Not only has the design changed on these controllers, but the functionality of the trigger systems has also changed as well. That's right, guys. I've been told that the triggers on these new scuff controllers are featuring Scuff's new digital trigger system, and the reason for why they do is because Scuff decided to send these to Scope for him to try out and provide feedback. Which that right there, I do find it pretty cool. For one, he's getting a free controller, and for number two, he's getting to test out a new type of technology, which in my opinion is a win-win. But yeah guys, if you are wanting to purchase these exact controllers, with this exact new sort of trigger system. You actually can guys, as what I'm about to do right now is go through each customization on each controller for you all. Here is the clips for both of them on screen right now.
Next up, we've got Mr. Savage's new keyboard. For this update, guys, Mr. Savage got sent this brand new keyboard on screen for free from his sponsor, Rockart. And what this keyboard is, is it's the all new Vulcan 10 Keyless Pro that features the new super fast Titan optical switches. That's right, guys, this new keyboard on screen has replaced his old one, which was the Rockart Vulcan 122 Amio. And the reason for why it's been replaced is for two main reasons. The first reason is because this new keyboard features a much smaller form factor. His old keyboard featured this form factor on screen. As you can see, it's a full-size board. However, if we put his new keyboard on screen too, you can see that this form factor is much, much smaller because it's a 10 key less keyboard. And then for the second main reason out of the two, this new keyboard is a lot faster than the old one in terms of performance. The old keyboard featured Rockat's tactical Titan switches, which those had a actuation point of 1.8 millimeters. However, for the new keyboard, that's the Vulcan 10 key less, this one features a new generation of their switches, and those are the Titan optical switches. Those right there feature a new super low linear actuation point of only 1.4 millimeters. So yeah, as you can see right there, the new Vulcan 10 Keyless Pro from Rockart is literally the fastest keyboard that they sell at the minute. And Mr. Savage, he now has his hands on it before anyone else. I'm not even joking there, guys. Literally, if we want to go and buy this thing right now, we can't, we can only pre-order it. But yeah, as of right now, he has been playing absolutely insane on this keyboard. Like you can tell with these new fastest switches from Rockart, you can see that those are helping him out big time. And, oh, hey, hey, I'm on top. He's on top. One dead, one dead. 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 I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Dead. Oh my God. CRR. He's he can He's he I'm on low ground right now. As you see right there, guys, you can see that the difference is night and day. Just from that alone, I definitely think that these new fast switch keyboards are 100% the new wave. Like, I feel like if you're not using a fast keyboard with fast switches, you're just missing out for sure. Moving on, guys, we've now got our final update of today's video, and that is Metro's new mousepad. For this update, guys, it is quite a strange one, as it's not a real-time update that you guys usually get from me. And what I mean by that is in Metro's case right here, he hasn't actually got this new mousepad as of right now. He has bought the mousepad, but he has not received it just yet. So think of this update as a strange early one. I don't usually do many of these, but in this video, I am. But yeah, guys, in regards to that mousepad, though, he has actually decided to copy Mongrel here, and he did end up getting the same one as Mongrel, and that right there is the custom Ink Gaming Extended XL mousepad. No, he did not copy the exact design that Mongrel went for. If you guys don't know what that is, I covered it in yesterday's video. But no, instead of copying Mongrel, he decided to go for his own design, and the design he went for was the one on his Twitter background page, this one right here. Yeah, are you gonna buy it, Milan? Look at it, bro. Mitch already bought I'm like, I'm like, like two years behind on mouse, guys. I'm not here, look. I bought it as well, I'm not gonna lie. Feel bad. What did you do, Mitch? I put like my Twitter header. That sh. Bro. You're gonna change that, bro. 100%. Should've got something like lit, bro. I don't care, bro. Nah, that's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. And yeah guys, as you heard right there, Metro is getting this one on his mouse pad. I think it looks amazing. I know Mongrel doesn't like it at all. That sh though. Should've got something like lit, bro. But I wanna know guys, what do you think this would look like on a mouse pad? You can see here that I myself, I put the design in and I think it looks pretty sweet. But I wanna know what all of you guys think in the comment section below. And yeah guys, that is all the updates I've got for today's video. If you did enjoy it or found it helpful, then be sure to let me know by leaving a like on this video, subscribing to the channel, and using Code Life in the Fortnite item shop whenever you do purchase any skins, wraps, or anything else. It really does help me out a ton, and I really, really do appreciate it. That's all from me, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace.